how did this even come about? Who called who? Oh, uh, yeah, Pluto. Pluto wow. called me. I went to the studio, laid that, and then we, um, you know, went through the, you know, the creative process, adding the chords, and called the hooligans, called them out in London to get on a joint. And, you know, everybody was very, very excited about the elimination of Drake. Yo, <laughs> we were not excited. We was energized. Here's why I I don't I don't like Kanye West jumping into this. Here's why. Because this looks so bad for whoever now is going against Drake, right? Now Drake looks like he's the Thanos of the game and everybody's scared of him and people have to fucking um you know what I mean? Like they have to form some kind of team to go against him. But truth is, Kendrick can take that boy out of himself. But now, if Drake loses in the midst of, oh, this is actually a chess game. Because I understand why now Drake is replying. Because if Drake replies now and forces Kendrick to reply now, and they have a back and forth, Drake can use the, or the whole industry was coming at me. So he could just use that as, you know, a pillow to fall back on. The, the blows are not going to be that hard. Pause. God damn it. No diddy. But he is not going to take that much of a loss. Think about it. If Kendrick, Kendrick is obviously going to destroy Drake. Like if Kendrick had to go toe to toe with Drake, lyrically Kendrick is going to win. If we all know that, then if Kendrick comes out now, now it's like Kanye. And it's Kanye, it's Rick Gross, Rick Gross, ASAP, ASAP, Future, Metro, The Weeknd. Everyone, it's going to be, it seems kind of unfair for Drake now. So the worst thing Kendrick can do is go at Drake right now. So if Drake keeps quiet, people are going to be saying, oh yeah, oh yeah, they just ganged up on him and you know, obviously, man, this is like a 20 versus 1. You know? So, ah, I hope Kendrick actually keeps quiet. The silence is actually beautiful. The silence works for Kendrick. Kanye is involved now. The worst person to have in your team is Kanye. He talks too much. He, he's bipolar. So there is so much that you could lose having Kanye on your team. He has no filter. He's, 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 uh, what do you call this? Uh, 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 he's clout, uh, uh, savvy. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it just, clout, he can't handle clout. You know, now he's saying everybody was excited you know, energized about the elimination of Drake. Why would you do that? You see now what he just did? He just made it seem like now everybody is excited and energized to, to eliminate Drake. Now it seems like Drake is a dangerous person. Drake is not that dangerous. This is why I hate Kanye. This is why I actually don't like Kanye because he's not actually reading his words. Mind your words. When you say things like that, now it makes Drake look like he's dangerous. Drake is not that dangerous. Drake Akins, uh, uh, Kendrick, Drake is not... Dangerous. Those two diss tracks, those diss tracks. Sorry, guys. Those two diss tracks against Kendrick has still not eliminated Drake. There's not. They're still not eliminated Kendrick. You know what I mean? Like Kendrick could still relax and drop music and not even respond. It, his career won't be over. Like this is not. He has to do something better. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, why is Kanye, why is Kanye in this? Oh, I hate Kanye, man. Boy, I hate Kanye. Ah, uh, nah, Kendrick, take your time, fam. Take your time, Kendrick. Don't even reply now. Take your time. I know he's probably not going to... Um, I know he's not listening to this, but... Ugh, I hate Jake. I hate Jake, honestly. I, I, I hate Kanye. I'm sorry. I hate Kanye. I really hate Kanye. There's, if there's somebody I hate more than Drake, it's Kanye. Because why would you do that? He just now made it like look like Jake. Oh, the Jake fans are gonna have a beautiful time. I'm just gonna run with it. Stupid.